How's everyone doing today? Great, great. Okay, if you weren't with us last time, it was Cody Armstrong and Snakebite finally getting a win after trying and trying, getting the win over Vlad and the Black Pearl. Well, let's see if Snakebite can double down here in Long Jump. A nice clear area there. So, yeah, you already know how Long Jump works, so let's go. Up first, your racing champion, Snakebite. All right, nice forward momentum backflip lands right there. I don't know if you can see. No, it won't matter pretty soon. So, truck to beat, snake bite. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, next up, the truck that lost the snake bite, the Black Pearl. Oh, oh, oh. Lands right on the 124 scale retro grave digger. And, uh, yeah, snake bite, still your leader. All right, next up, the truck that came close to winning. Great Clubs Mohawk Warrior Gears. Oh, right on the Mohawk, leaving his mark. And Mohawk Warrior is your new leader. Snakebite has been defeated. At least he won uh, racing. Sorry, kind of had a little bit of a brain fart there. It happens. Anyways, another fast truck that lost in the end. Pirates Curse Water. Oh, nice there by Pirate's Curse, and he, he is your new leader. And the hat stayed on. All right, Pirate's Curse is your new leader. Anyways, moving on. Next up is the cool five alarm. All right, the, these Hot Wheels trucks do not handle these things well, do they? But Pirate's Curse, still your leader. Now I gotta go move those trucks. All right, next up, your previous freestyle champion, the Batman. Here we go. Oh, doesn't get high enough. Crash lands, and over on the side he goes. And I actually forgot where Pirate's Curse lands. I don't see any marking, so this opens the door for a new leader. So if I have to go far, our, well, I'll see what the Silverado can do. Oh, all right, land is somewhere around there, and then over there. So, Silverado will not get the win. Still a pretty good looking truck though, love it. I love the square, <coughs> excuse me. Love the square bodies. Anyways, next up, it's the 909 Wolf. It was also a previous champion, past champion, whatever. See what he can do here. Oh, lands right next to the Discriminator. That's the name of this obstacle, by the way. Uh, the sand is all dry. But he landed right here. So, so, oh, it would appear that the 909 Wolf is your new leader. All right, next up, representing Team Galaxy is El Toro Loco Galaxy. See what, see what he can do here? And here we go. Oh, oh, and a hard hit there for El Toro Loco. Came down real hard on the roof. And the marking was... Right there. So, oh wait. <coughs> oh shoot. We got a tie between 909 Wolf and El Toro Loco. So, now we just need to break that tie. Let's see what Lucas Oil Crusader can do here. Oh! Nice there by Crusader as always. But, he will not get the win. All right, next up on our list is the Red Max D. See what Max D can do here. Oh, nice sky wheelie by Max D. Comes down on the Discriminator, taking out a crush car, but he will not get the win. As El Toro Loco and 909 is, are still your leaders. <sighs> but let's see what the Grave Digger can do here. Monster Jam Dallas, the unstoppable. Here we go. Oh. We had a hard hit, did a flip in the air, came down real hard on the rear. Hopefully he didn't damage anything. <coughs> but Monster Jam Dallas and, and Grave Digger not getting the win. Now if he was in the son of a digger, he'd probably have better luck. It's just my opinion. Alright, next up, the Ford Raptor. Oh! And it comes down on the discriminator, hitting the side of it. But... 
He is not going to be your leader. All right, next up. Make some room. Here comes the boom. It's Saigon Shaker. Oh, right on the crush car. Coming down on the tailgate. Wow. What a hit for Saigon Shaker. But unfortunately, he will not get the win. But next up, it's the Jester. Jester. Oh, and we have a new leader. I I really overdid that one. And no, there's, there's no favoritism. Just I was just trying to do a little harder because I, I think I'm pulling my punches here. I mean, I'm I'm right I'm right-handed. I'm using my right hand to hold the camera. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Jester is your new leader. You landed right next to that blue car, I think. What's that doing there? Anyway? Oh, wait, that's probably the racing lane. <laughs> Anyways, next up is his son, the Kraken. Here we go. All right. So the Kraken will not get the win. All right. Up next, the truck on men. It's the Destroyer. And no, I won't be cheating. If I win, then I win. I re to be honest, I don't care if I lose. Okay. So, like, if I win, then cool. If I lose, then I'm happy for whoever it is that beat me. You know what I mean? So, here we go. Oh! And the Destroyer living up to his name. Destroying the Discriminator. Landing right on the can, flipping it upside down. Oh, man. Let's take a look at the damage. Let's see, Jester landed there. And, oh! Yeah, the destroyer living up to his name. Jester, still your leader. And up next, the monster lobster crush station. It's raw. Oh, did a nice forward momentum front flip. Not so good on the landing. So Jester is still your leader. And crush station is not. So let's see what his teammate, the lumberjack, can do. This is his second science series. And we'll most likely get a chance to go to the World Finals. Well, on my channel, not the real World Finals. So, who knows? Oh, right on the Discriminator, bouncing off of it, rolling to the other side. But that's not enough to beat the Jestalade. But let's see if this guy can do it. He's doing it in reverse. It's backwards, Bob. Oh. What a what a leap. That was some serious elevation, Holmes. Excuse me while I go figure out who's in the first place. Okay, so if I remember right, Jester landed somewhere either here or there. And then back with Bob landed here. Sorry, school bus driving by. So it would appear that backwards Bob is your new leader. There's the marking. Just... There we go. So it's easier to see. So backwards, Bob is your new leader. All right. All right. Next up, it's Blue Thunder. I think it looks cool this way. What do you think? See what he can do here. Oh, some serious air landing on the car that I forgot to remove. Though, no, I'll, just, I'll just leave it there. But. Uh, there's backwards Bob's marking. Blue that under landed there, so Blue Thunder will not get the win. Bummer. Alright, up next, Monster Jam Classic Taz. See what he can do here. Wow. Lands in the same place as Blue Thunder, therefore he will not get the win. Backwards Bob is still your leader. And up next, it's the king of the monster trucks himself. It's Bigfoot. Oh, landing on the Discriminator. The same can as the Destroyer destroyed. So, what a hit. But, he will not get the win. Backwards Bob, still your leader. This is Maxie's last chance. Can he get a win? We're about to find out in three, two, one. Oh... Some serious air by Max D landing on the ramp of the discriminator. It still counts because it's still dirt. 
Just gonna put the tr other truck on. Oh, landed flat on the roof. And it appears that. Nope, backwards, Bob. Still your leader. So freaking close. All right, we are d just down to two trucks. Will it be Gravedigger getting the win, or Son of a Digger, or will Backwards Bob get his third victory? We're about to find out, because here comes Gravedigger. Oh my. Landing in the same place as Max D. Oh, there. there there's where he landed, and uh-oh. Uh huh? Um, hold on. All right, Monster Jam fans, we have a tie. So, so it's either gonna come down to a, a tiebreaker. So we'll get those two ready, just in case. And we are down to the last truck. Son of a Digger. Now, Son of a Digger, he has been unstoppable lately. So, see what he can do. Will it be Grave Digger, Backwards Bob, or Son of a Digger? We're about to find out. He's a little heavier. So. Oh! Landing flat on the roof. Destroying the discriminator some more. There's going to be nothing left of that. Actually, there's plenty left. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. So, Son of a Digger will not get the win. Now it's time for the tiebreaker. Yeah, because Son of a Digger get, didn't get the win. So here goes backwards, Bob. Oh, ouch. What a hit landing on the first can of the discriminator. So he's got the lead. And now here comes Gravedigger. Okay. Where, where was that? Oh, right here. And backwards, Bob landed there first, so... So he, he landed there. Gravedigger hit here. That means your winner is Gravedigger. Oh, who's in Gravedigger again? It is Dolores Simmons. All right, congratulations, Dolores, on your um, one millionth win, I'm sure. I, f I forgot how many times I've lost count. Anyways, here's your encore. I'm going to do a backflip. This is how I did it back in 2013. Oh, Thing really likes landing on this roof, huh? Yeah, and we're just gonna send it one more time. And here we go. Woo! All right, another win for Gravedigger. It's a good year for Gravedigger. All right, so that will conclude Long Jump. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for Freestyle because that's next. Till then, see you later.